Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula. And I'm Hector. And Hector is the expert. We're asking him a question. He's a health and longevity expert for 54, 54 years. years. Yeah. <laughs> and so the question today is, what about those plastic bottles that we buy our water in? Are they harmful? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and handle this question in a number of different ways. First of all, I understand that most people drink out of plastic bottles. Plastic bottles actually bleed. You know, the plastic in it starts dissolving into the water and the chemicals that, that make the plastic go into the water and then go into your body. There's a number of reasons for this. Number one, you don't know whether the, the manufacturers of this water, where they stored it. Ob obviously, they probably stored it in a cool, dry place so the, the plastic didn't bleed. However, that goes to the supermarket, and, and I have to tell you a personal experience. I went to a supermarket, and they had water on sale, and it was outside in the, in the sun for mm -hmm. hours. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. So I went to the manager, and I told him, I said, put that inside because you can't. He's like, we don't have any room. You know, so you're going to have all these chemicals in your system and eventually they're going to, they're going to affect you, they're going to, they're going to hurt you. The other thing is that people sometimes have water in, um, with them in plastic bottles and they go shopping or something and they leave it in the car. Never leave that water in the car because that heat starts dissolving that plastic into the water and then you drink it and you're drinking poison. So you have to keep that water always in a in a cool place. Now, the alternatives, mm -hmm. okay? One of the alternatives, from worst to best, uh, one of the alternatives is to take that water and open it up, let it breathe, like you would about a good bottle of wine, and then pour it in, pour it in, in a glass a container. Glass. Yeah. Or in a glass, glass container. Um, as a matter of fact, if you take that and you pour it in a glass in a, in a glass, in a regular glass, and you let it breathe for a little bit, and then you taste it, it'll taste totally different than it does really? in the plastic bottle. Yeah, huh. totally different. So that's one thing to, that you can do. You put it in a container which is either metal or glass, and you let it breathe, and then it doesn't take away all the chemicals and all the problems with it, but it's a lot better than drinking it straight and start drinking the plastic. Now, that's one of the, the, the things you can do. The best thing you can do is to go and get alkaline water, okay? Um, they have this um, plastic five-gallon bottles that are EPA uh, approved, okay? Which means that the plastic will not bleed, okay? And so you got to get alkaline water between 5.5 to 9.5 and and then you just pour into a, a metal container, or like I did, I went to Costco's, they should be paying me for this, <laughs> I went to Costco's and I got this cooler, and you know, you, you, you know, actually you don't turn it upside down, you put it underneath in a compartment, and it gives you hot and cold water, which is great. And you never have to, you know, self-cleaning and, and fantastic. And then I take my, my little metal uh, uh, container and thermos, I put yeah. Yeah, thermos and I put it in the thermos and I drink out of that all day. Now, the problem comes when you're outside. Like right now, I'm not near my house and I didn't bring my my container. And then I go ahead and I get plastic bottles and I and I drink out of them. But I try to pour as much as I can into a glass. And I'm going to tell you why it's okay for me to do that in a way, right? Because my body will just flash it out. Because I don't do that very often. If you do that once in a while, the body understands this is not a food, it's anything I can process, let me get rid of it, okay? You start doing it every day, the body goes, oh, okay, I, I need to store it somewhere, right? I mean, let's say this is all liquid, this is like some plastic, <laughs> let me store it, and it goes into your fat cells again. Mm. So those are the, the couple of things that you can do, and you got to be very, very careful with, with plastic bottles uh, because they will hurt you. So alkaline water, 9.5, and you can look it up on Google um, or, your, or your phone book. Do they have phone books anymore? <laughs> anyway, you, you look it up and, and you can find out a place near you that has alkaline water. That's what you should be drinking. Fabulous. Thank you so much. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next video.